Hello and welcome to part two in our Printix tutorial series. Today we'll be talking about moving around the Printix administrator, looking at the users, the computers and the printers. Also we'll be looking into the settings menu and how you navigate around Printix administrator. We see just a general overview on our printing environment. We see we have five printers. We have one user, that's myself, and one computer, that's this Windows 1064 that we're just looking at. We can also jump into those screens simply by uh, going through these icons on the top here. So we have the dashboard, the printers, the users, and computers. Uh, when we open up the printers, we see some general information uh, on the printers. We will dive into this in detail in a further part um, showing how you configure these devices, make sure that the configuration um, is correct, etc. The users up here um, is, as I say, myself has been added as a system manager simply because I signed up for this Printix tenant. I can of course add more users and um, make them system managers as well. Um, the next one here is the computers. I see this is my host name. It's a desktop uh, type of uh, um, computer. It's Windows 1064 and we have Printix version uh, listed down here at the end. Um, this is very important to note that Printix is a cloud solution so there's no need for maintenance and software updates or uh, even server updates. There is no server. Um, so there's no downtime uh, due to that. Um, Printix client is automatically pushed out as soon as there's a new version available. So uh, this is a complete um, automated process. The next one here is the settings um, menu up there. Again, we can jump into the dashboard, the printers, the users, the computers, and also the networks and uh, quite a few other points here. The networks just gives me an overview on the networks that have been discovered so far. So as I've started here on my location, um, Printix is only aware of this one subnet or this one network. Uh, we'll get into the networks in detail again in a, in a later part. Uh, it's a crucial component of um, making Printix a, a highly dynamic print solution for your environment. Uh, the other one down the list here is the history. We can, of course, have a look at all the different um, categories of information. If I just want to search, we see that these printers have been added, etc. Um, so we get some uh, insight into what's actually going on uh, in these different um, topics. Moving down the list, authentication, um, simply by signing up for Printix through my Microsoft Work account, um, the integration with Microsoft um, Azure has already happened. Uh, we're already integrated. Uh, Printix knows that uh, I work for Printix, etc. So it's done all of that uh, behind the scenes, uh, set me up there. I can also change the authentication to Google Authentication or local Active Directory, which we support as well, of course, um, or self-registration. Subscription. I see some details around my subscription with Printix. So when you sign up with Printix, you get 30 days free trial, no limits. Um, so it's completely open for um, any amount of users, computers, printers, volumes printed as well. Uh, there's no limits whatsoever. You get to use Printix with full functionality. Um, once, once you're happy with the performance and everything works as um, desired, you simply convert Printix into a subscription, which means uh, your test tenant or your demo will become your productive environment. So you don't need to go back and set up Printix once more. Uh, you just uh, get to keep what you've done so far in your pilot phase, your POC, and um, just basically change it over to a productive environment. Further down the list, we have the settings. These are the general settings on how Printix behaves in your network, how it presents the printers to you, etc. Uh, if you do actually want to use advanced features like secure printing or follow me printing uh, or not. Um, yeah, we'll get into this in a later session. Important to note here is that this is the location where you would find 
the installer packages, um, either just the executable, the MSI for your, for instance, uh, Microsoft Intune software distribution, um, and your Macintosh uh, for uh, the DMG for your Macintosh. Next one down the list is invite the technician. In short words, Printix allows you to uh, have hardware replacements or adding printers to your environment um, in a managed process through Printix, which means your IT department or IT staff are not, don't necessarily need to be involved in adding new, new resources into your uh, infrastructure. So Printix takes care of that as well. Um, we'll talk about this in a later part. Support, you can open a support ticket uh, anytime from within the tenant itself, which means uh, we know on the help desk side, any support ticket that shows up there, we know which tenant it comes from, the, uh, the contact, uh, what it's about, so we can go uh, get straight back to you and assist you with um, anything you might need. And finally, we have uh, the manual. We touched on the manual um, earlier. So I would highly recommend um, having a look at the manual. It's very comprehensive. It's a great resource for any kind of information in and around Printix. Uh, goes into great detail. You can also download it as a PDF if, uh, if you wish to. Um, you can use, uh, use the search bar up here and um, just you know, dive right into it. And finally, we have language. We uh, support uh, several different languages um, and simply by changing it over here, the interface will then change into your uh, language as desired. Remember, if you have any questions along the way, you can open up the settings here and go to support and submit any support uh, requests online or directly through support at printix.net. Thanks for listening. Hope this was helpful and you'll join us again for any other demo you might be interested in.